Hi everyone and welcome. I'm so excited to be able to share with you today my ideas, my techniques, and my quilts. My name is Valerie Prito, and I'm the author of a book from CNT Publishing called Tumblr Quilts. Now when I'm cutting my tumbler blocks, I use templates. These have notched edges, so when you align them to sew them together, they, they align really nicely. When you open them up, you have a nice straight edge, which means all your rows are going to fit together really nicely. You don't need to use templates though. This is a great quilt for beginner quilters to make because once they've mastered the art of laying the blocks together and sewing them and opening up and having a straight line, they're, they've learned all the techniques that they need. And for advanced quilters, they can cut out their blocks, put them on the design wall and play with color. And I'm all about playing with color. So here I've cut out the tumbler blocks. The first two blocks have been cut out using the templates with the notched edges. And in the center, this is the same two blocks sewn together. You can see they formed a nice straight line. The very last set shows how you would align them to sew if you're using templates that do not have notched edges. You got about an eighth of an inch at each end. This is how they have to be aligned so that they'll open up into a straight line. So let's look at the kinds of quilts you can make with tumblers, tumbler blocks. Now this one, this is the most common tumbler quilt you'll see. If you look on Instagram or Pinterest, this is what you'll see. It's sort of a colored block alternating with a white or an off-white block. It's a great block to make because here I'm using the five inch tumbler template which fits onto a charm square and so it goes together more quickly. It's a perfect starter quilt and it would make a great gift for a baby. So here's another quilt design that I came up with for the tumbler blocks. I basically arranged them into a diamond shape. Now you could use your favorite colors here. It, it, it especially looks good because it's offset by this very light background. Uh, and I'm especially happy with the background. It's made from all of my lighter fabrics, because so sometimes I use the backs of fabrics, and it just gives you something else to look at when you're looking at the quilt. Here's a sneak peek of some of the quilts that you'll find in my book. I have 27 quilts in this book, so I'm sure you'll find something that will tempt you to get out those tumbler templates and start designing. I hope that I've inspired you to explore the tumbler block. My book is just brimming with ideas of how to use this block to explore design and color. 